So let's talk about how the free version of Canva differs from the pro version because whether or not it's worth upgrading to the paid version is probably one of the most common questions that I get. I'm not going to go over every single feature here, but I do want to highlight for you what I think are the most important features that are available to you regardless of whether you're on the free or pro version of Canva. And I also want to flag for you some of what I consider to be the most significant reasons to upgrade to the paid Canva Pro. Whether you are on the free or pro version, you'll have access to a wide range of free design templates, logos and graphics, and you'll also be able to create your own designs with custom dimensions. And all users will have the ability to export their designs in a variety of formats. What is only available on a pro or Teams account in terms of design and publishing is access to Canva's entire premium stock library. And this includes not just photos, but also all sorts of icons and illustrations, video and audio. I know that a lot of the illustrations I've used in social media designs and various worksheets have all been part of that premium library. The ability to upload your own fonts as part of Canva's brand kit, which is a pro feature. Access to the entirety of Canva's template library. You do have access to a wide variety of templates on the free plan, but significantly more on pro, which will give you far more flexibility in terms of designing great looking content in Canva. It indicates here that you can export designs as PDF, JPEG, and PNG files in both the free and paid plans, but what it doesn't indicate here is that a key differentiator is that you can only download designs with a transparent background in the paid version. For example, this is important if you're creating a logo in Canva or some other icon or illustration that needs to have a transparent background that is not a white or other colored square behind it. You'll also only have the ability to use Canva's background remover tool if you're on Pro or Teams. The ability to resize a design into new dimensions with a single click. For example, if you wanted to quickly copy an Instagram image into a different sized image. Without this magic resizing ability, you'll have to create each image from scratch. So this is a huge time saver and it's one of the top features that had me willing to upgrade my account so many years ago. Plus, there are a variety of other options here that are only available on Pro, like the ability to save your designs as brand templates in your account, access to premium animations and content, and so on. Under collaboration, you'll see that the Pro and Teams plans give you far more flexibility in terms of real-time collaboration and team management. If you use Canva as a solo business owner, this will be of less importance to you. If you've followed me for any length of time, you likely know that the brand kit is central to my approach to teaching how to use Canva because I've personally seen the impact on my own designs that using a consistent brand kit has made, both in terms of the quality of the graphics that I can quickly create, as well as the enjoyment that I have when working in Canva because I don't feel overwhelmed by all the possible choices in terms of colors and fonts and styles that are available to me. You won't have access to the brand kit on a free Canva plan, whereas on a pro plan, you can create up to 100 brand kits, which will come in handy if you're creating images and marketing materials for multiple businesses. And on a Teams account, you can create up to 300 brand kits. On a free plan, you will only have five gigabytes of storage space for your designs and media, while Pro and Teams accounts allow for up to one terabyte of storage. Depending on how much you use Canva, this may not be an issue, but if you do upload a lot of images or video, you may find yourself running into that storage limitation. Now, there's currently no feature available to indicate how much storage space you have left, but you should receive an alert message if you do hit that maximum allotment. Also note that media in the trash folder does not count towards your storage totals at this time. In terms of creating custom folders, you can create an unlimited number of folders on all plans, though the number of items that you can store in a given folder does differ. While it's not indicated here at last update, free users could store a maximum of 200 items in a folder, whereas pro users could store up to a thousand designs or images in a folder. Then under support, there's not a lot of differences here, though Teams plans do have priority level support. If you haven't yet upgraded to Canva Pro, I encourage you to give it a try. And you can do a 45-day free Canva Pro trial by going to brendacadman.com forward slash Canva. Stay tuned for more Canva tips and tutorials, and make sure to join us in the How to Use Canva community by going to howtousecanva.com.